I am proud of my country's heritage. We're living on freedom's soil. Brave men have gone before me here, unafraid to pray and toil. I part I Today, what we have. As long as women and men do believe and live God's word, there will be free men and women. And as long and to the degree as citizens of the United States know and live God's word, then to that degree, the United States will be blessed. Lots of the restrictions of the Ninth and Tenth Amendments simply makes this increasingly much more difficult and dangerous. To the degree this has already taken place, and as it continues, okay, to that degree is to which the United States of America will be less blessed. This is what we now see playing out before us. Still, men and women believe God and worship Him. But the restriction of government is being lost more and more day by day. We've been taught wrongly that this restriction is not needed to be a free people. For fear and a multitude of good reasons, we give up our freedom and accept slavery for supposed prosperity and safety and security. As we continue, we'll lose not just our freedom, but our prosperity, safety, and security also. Today, our elected representatives represent not the Constitution, nor we the people, but the political parties. These women and men may be wonderful, have great hearts, and desire to help, but they're working in politics and no longer with a constitutionally restricted government. At their best, they can seek to help us receive the benefits granted us by government and to avoid the herd of bureaucratic overreach. The parties must pay back those who fund their being elected to power. The parties must give them, okay, these donors, what they want if the parties want to keep getting that funding. And the parties have to have that funding. To accomplish this and gain power, the parties also seek, and for a good multitude of reasons, okay, to get around the restrictions of the Constitution. They seek, for good reasons, greater and greater centralized power. They seek to get us to fight over who will be our best leader, our master, our ruler. They seek to make we the people more and more dependent on central government, subject central government, and make central government more able to make laws in all areas whatsoever. Yes, our God still bears his mighty arm when men do him our Yes, our God still bears his mighty arm when men do him alone.